If I break Dumbledore apart and weigh the individual parts separately, how would it differ from when I weigh it as a whole? Dumbledore's hair weighs one gram, his beard is half a gram, his head weighs two grams, body five, and legs four. It's not so surprising that they add up to 12.5 grams, which is exactly the same mass measured when it was a whole Dumbledore. But this same idea cannot be applied to subatomic particles. Measuring the mass of a proton, I get 1.007276 U, where U is the atomic mass unit, which is a very small unit of mass. A neutron has a mass of 1.008664 U, and an electron 0.000549 U. If I weigh a helium atom, I will get a reading of this. Does this agree with my data? Let's find out. A helium has two protons, two neutrons, and two electrons. We'll substitute the masses in. We get a mass of 4.032978 U. Not quite the same as the mass of a whole helium atom. Let's think about what's going on here. When I have protons, neutrons, and electrons separated from each other, we call them the constituent particles. From these constituent particles, I create my helium atom, which has a mass less than the mass of the constituent. This tells me something. In the process of making this atom, we have lost some mass. The difference in mass is known as the mass defect. So I can figure out exactly what the mass defect here is by doing constituent mass minus the mass of a helium atom, giving me 0.030375U. How do we lose this chunk of mass in the process of creating this helium? It will make a lot more sense if we turn this error around and remind ourselves of Einstein's equation E equals mc squared, which permits mass to energy conversion. Let's make this conversion here and think of the mass defect as energy. So with a little bit of energy added to the atom, we can pull the particles apart and separate them into constituent parts. The energy provided by the mass defect to separate the atom into constituents is known as the binding energy. It's a term that sounds quite counterintuitive, 